Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm on a little trip, but I did bring my little featherweight along and I'm going to make a small little bag to collect my loose threads and little scraps of fabric. A little trash bag, if you will, and I'm gonna use my one and a half squares. This is my old little bag and I thought I'd like to update my little thread catcher. So I'm gonna put a lot of these one and a half inch squares that I've been collecting. I'm gonna sew them together. getting a lot of them sewn together. I came over here to my portable ironing station that is kind of funky and I pressed. I have five strips of 16 little squares and then I have some shorter strips for the bottom of my little bag. After sewing my rows together, I added the bottom pieces, so I need a center piece that are two rows of four and then two rows of two for each side. So hopefully this, when I put it all together, I'll be able to close up the bottom to make sort of a square bottom. So it, um, I'm going to add the pieces on the bottom here and then we're going to add it to some heavy inner facing and I'm sorry I don't know exactly how heavy it is but I wanted some inner facing so that my little bag would stand up. As you can see, my interfacing is a little bit bigger than my project. I just laid that big piece of patchwork onto the interfacing and I'm going to quilt it with, on the interfacing so that it stays together. So I'm going to go diagonally through the squares both ways and then I'll be able to trim the interfacing to the size of my little patchwork piece here.
So I, after trimming my patchwork piece, I also cut the lining the same size as my little bag piece with those two little square openings or rectangular openings on the bottom. And now I'm going to just uh, attach those two pieces, the front and the back on the top. So I am going to sew right along the top with the right sides together. After getting the front and the back attached along, or I mean the front and the inside, the lining attached along the top of my little bag, I opened it up and then folded it so that the sides of the bag are together. This is the side of the bag, the front and the back, and I'm going to sew all along that side. Here are those little openings that I had on the bottom and if I fold it like this you can see the openings and I'm going to now sew along the bottom of the bag and in just a minute I'll show you how we're going to square up that bottom so that it will sit on the table. I thought I would turn it right side out so that you could kind of visualize the bottom. So these two pieces will be sewn together like that and that side will be sewn together like that. And then it will sit on the table. So what I'm gonna do is turn it wrong side out again and then I need to fold the bag sort of a different direction so that those um, pieces come together and now you have two straight lines to sew across and I'm gonna close up the bottom of the bag right now. Now it's time to close up the lining of my bag and I have those raw edges so I tried to tuck the raw edges in and then I just sewed across so I tucked those in I could have walked over to my ironing station but it wasn't available right now so I'm going to sew this together it's not going to be a smooth seam it's going to have a little ridge because of the way that I'm putting it together but this is the inside of this little um, bag and I think it's going to work out fine. So I'll sew right across this seam here. So I'll do the same thing with the corners of my little bag. I'm going to open them up the same way I did with the front and kind of get that straight edge and I will tuck those edges in and again I'll sew across with the raw edges inside. Last thing I did is I trimmed a lot of those threads off from my quilting lines and then I added one more stitch all the way around the top of my bag. I did a little top stitch to keep the uh, outside and the lining 
line all lined up and nice and tidy so I'm gonna go around and sew all the way around my bag I'm almost done Here's my little thread toucher bag. It actually is a little bit bigger than I expected, but it was sure a fun project to bring along on my camping trip. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.